CBAI. Hey all, this is Ken with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to add vocals to a track that you've already written somewhere else and you want to bring it into Suno and add a new vocal line to it. Let's jump in there. All right, so the way you're going to do this is you're going to use the Suno Studio feature, which is the uh, premier, the whatever they call the highest tier uh, feature. So I'm over here in Suno Studio. If you're not sure how to get there, just go along to the left, uh, the very left most vertical uh, list of options, and then click on Studio right here, and it'll open it up for you. I would recommend renaming your track if you haven't done that already, or renaming your studio session. So I've already done that here. So the first thing we need to do uh, is to get our audio or our track uploaded into Suno. Now I will tell you there's multiple ways and areas in the different places with screens within Suno that you can upload audio. The one in studio in my opinion is not the most user friendly at the moment. I expect they'll be fixing that but I but at the moment this is how it works. Um, you will once you upload the audio it will not show up in your workspace as of the recording of this video. It will only go into your library uh, your general library view and then you'll have to add it to the workspace so what I'm gonna do is hit the back button to get out right here and then I'm gonna go to all songs view just so it'll be easier uh, to see it and so the way to to add the audio here is go down to the upload button click on it and so for example I have one here if I upload that by selecting it it will come up and it, the screen doesn't really give you an easy to see confirmation either, but if you go over here to the refresh button, that uh, should show up in a moment after you've uploaded it. As you can see, the uh, audio has been uploaded into my into my library of all songs. So what I'll do is I will click on it or right click it and then go down to move to workspace and then move it to the workspace I want to work with within the studio. This will just make your make things a little more organized. So now I'm going back and I'm going to choose my uh, stu the workspace I want to use. And now it's there. And this was just for example purposes because if you upload your audio um, into Suno and you let it sit some period of time, if you try to upload the same audio track again, it, basically it'll say that you can't do it um, because it's already there in Suno. Um, so if it's already uploaded, um, you won't be able to upload it again, or that's been my experience. So this one's already here, and this is the one we're going to work with. So let's say I've got my instrumental track, my track that needs vocals. I'm going to click and drag it into my timeline. It intelligently knows that there's a pickup bar, uh, pickup measure here. And then it goes into the song, so I'll show you what that's like. Okay, so what I would recommend doing from here, um, it's optional, uh, but I would recommend that you divide this out by organizing it into a, uh, the various sections, so I'll do that very quickly here. All right, so now that I have divided out my section and named the, just for my own creative uh, keeping myself sane, uh, I can go ahead and start playing around with adding the new uh, vocal track in there. So to do that, go ahead and click the Add Track button. Uh, and then I would recommend renaming it. And I would also recommend changing this icon to Vocals or Backing Vocals, whatever you're working with. It seems to affect down here on the context bar to know that you should be it should be creating vocals. So it may save you from wasting credits if you have it. For example, if you just left it on the song icon, it's going to go default the song, so it might create something different than what you wanted than the vocals if you forget to change this. So I digress. I'll put it back to vocals. Uh, and now I have my song. Here is where it gets to a lot of creative freedom that you have, and you may need to do some experimenting. But for a basic demo purposes, let's go ahead and click and drag this whole section other than that pickup. And now I have a section selected. Go down to the context bar. You have a styles. You have the option to choose the instrument, but we already know we want vocals. You can input your styles just like you do in your normal creating prompts. And then down here you can input your lyrics. If you need more space, you can click this button to make it bigger. And you can even do some things like advanced options. To keep it simple, let's just put this down there. 
and then I am going to copy paste in uh, my style prompt for this. If you uh, have a lot of words, um, it will open up to be a little bit easier to look at, and it'll give you the total number allowed characters there. So I'm using 191 out of 5,000. I'll hit done, and then I'll bring in my lyrics from my text file that I've written. I'll paste them in here. Again, the screen will pop up for me uh, so I can see a little bit easier since it's a very small box. And then I see I've got my tags and my, my test lyrics to put in there. And then if I do need it bigger again, I could use that this uh, context button to make it bigger and have a few extra options. But really from there, let's go ahead and uh, click create. I'm just going to leave everything at standard here. So I'll click this create button. And what it'll do, it'll start generating your uh, two outputs for your song. So I will wait for those to load. As your songs are loading, at some point they will come into your actual workspace, which is good. So they show up here, and you can see that they are still uh, loading, as well as over here it has this kind of blurred out spot to tell me that they are still being pulled up. And then as it's being completed, it may start doing um, this type of screen where it gradually becomes visible. And now that my songs have loaded, uh, it will show up the full waveform of one of the options of your songs. You will also see this little plus one button down, if I can get to it, this little plus one button over here. If you click it, it will show you your take lanes. Uh, and so you have a version one and a version two here. You can see down when you've pulled down the take lanes that the version one is showing as highlighted. So that is the one that's actually pulled into the main track. And then the other one is uh, shown as not highlighted. If you had a mixture, like if you were pulling in different parts from each take lane, each section of that particular part that you pulled in as the main one would show up over here. Uh, but from here, you can go ahead and listen to your output. So uh, you could either just hit play on the main track and listen to the, the main one, or you could go down over here and click on the little uh, speaker icon for whichever version you want to listen to. I'll click on this one, version one, and let's go ahead and give it a listen and see if it worked. All right, I think that's enough, but you can see that turned out pretty good. Uh, so that's about it. If you found this video helpful, why don't you give me a subscribe, hit the bell notification if you're a Suno user and you want to keep getting more videos or you love music AI. Like this video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment of ideas you have for future videos. Share with your friends. And until next time, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one and take care.